here we go a new little basher um, I'm going to get everything out and then compare it to my old ones because like I said I'm sort of retiring off the uh, the Maverick iron um, where this I can bash it a bit harder it's newer parts are available so for me that's more suitable so I'll get it all out and we'll do a comparison so there it is the little red and blue granite granite gra granite um, it's actually sort of got a silvery white as well so I'm going to call it more of a red white and blue suspension seems all right bit low on the back for my liking I don't know that's adjustable out well let's get the top off and see well, it's not too hard to get the top off just give it a good push right there it is inside loads of labels too many um, if you want to know the specs of the motor server and all that you'll have to look it up but it's got one of these all-in-one units little clips for the battery and actually holds it in place so let's quickly test it um, we've got the uh, controller batteries here so we're literally going to go for it out the box Put the batteries in. God, I can never see these. Ah, they're just in there, positive and negative. So, should be positive up normally if they put a positive. So, they must be down. We'll go down. And will we get light? Yes, we got light. So we'll plug the battery in. And on. That's pretty good. Um, steering's not too bad. Um, Just wish you could have sort of adjust it up a bit on the rear suspension. There is another hole, so I might change the angle and see if I can raise it a little bit. Because there is a secondary hole in there. If that's what it's for, I do not know. But we will see. So I said I was going to compare it to me other one I've got. So let's slip the top back on. Goes on reasonably easy, but not totally. Press to hold to turn off. Okay, so I had this out yesterday or the day before. See, that's the 1 16th. It's not too big, but it's still bulky to put in your backpack and that is a bit bit too much and there's the little maverick iron let's see if we can go wider no we can't um, that's sort of smaller than it's funny enough it's the same rough wheelbase um, but it's a more dinky of a truck and it's getting a bit delicate now because it is a fair age even though it has got some nice alloy parts which I got super cheap because they're uh, of a different brand but the same 
car, you know, sort of thing. When there was offer, it's offer on offer. Sometimes I think I paid a cup, so like two pound fifty for a pair of alloy wishbones. That's the only reason it's got those shiny parts. I brought them cheap in the sale. But like I said, um, it's oak. It's not bad at all. It drives well at the skate park, but it does overheat badly all the time, and that's hence why. I'm considering a tyre because it's gone out of production and I don't want to ruin it. I'll still use it once in a while, but I'm not giving, getting rid of the little Maverick. Um, the Grave Digger, like I said, it's a bit big for the backpack, but it drives really nice. Um, especially where this one's four-wheel drive, it just changes how well it performs because it is so sturdy. And so, like I said, we'll end it up back with the Granite. For the granite grom it's um, like I said just right for the backpack and that's what we'll be taking out and we'll go from there um, but this is basically just a basic unboxing um, it seems quite nice from what I've seen but until we get it out for a run we won't know how good it is